Hi everyone, it's Miss Kate. And Miss Hazel. So I'm going to share a little bit of a story with you first before I show you what we're going to do. Every summer, my sister Josie and my son Nate and I go to see um, different Major League Baseball parks. So this past summer, we went to Minneapolis to see the Minnesota Twins. And while we were there, we got to see some art. So we went to a, um, the Walker Art Center, which has a beautiful sculpture garden next to the center. And I fell in love with a piece of art. It's called Empire by a woman named Eva Rothschild. When I looked at it, I thought, we can make these, these are fun. So what I did was I took some pipe cleaners. I just happen to have a package here because we've been making spiders this week. And then I just twisted them together to kind of give these long arms of this thing. Um, she does a lot of geometric shape kind of work and everything I found online was pretty big. I had actually never heard of her, but now I really like her. So that was, it was fun to discover a new artist for me. Um, so Miss Kate, is the artist still alive? Yes, she is. She lives in London, I believe. She's from Dublin, Ireland. And um, a piece I forgot to tell you that her, this piece called Empire is made of steel that was painted. But to me, it looked like she had used a lot of melty beads on it or perler beads. So that's what we we're doing. So um, I wrap these around to give these arms and then I have my bowl of melty beads. I, when I made this one, I did not um, go with a pattern, but you could make a pattern with yours. Like the one, um, what she painted was green and black, but I wanted to do multiple colors because I like colors. And I did add black in there, even though I'm using a black um, pipe cleaner, because when you have black on something, it makes all those other colors really pop. Have you yeah. noticed that before? Yes, yeah, so that's fun. Miss Kate, do you yes. think you could use pony beads? Could you use other kind of beads? Oh, you could use other beads. The, the reason I like the melty bead, well, it made me think of melty beads, but also because they really fit well and it on won't slide pony. around. Gotcha. Yeah. So okay. once they're on there, I think a pony bead would probably slide back down a lot and it'd be sort of frustrating. But I'm going to quickly get these on so I can show you the next part. Okay, so now I have all these pieces on. I'm going to use some tape. I am using for my base a file folder that someone gave us. And I'm going to try and set this up so when you look at it, it'll be a, a sculpture that so is So you could really use cool. a piece of wood? What could you use? Oh, I think, that, I think that a piece of wood would be really nice for this. But uh, you have to make sure you have a piece of wood. Or cardboard. Cardboard works. Like if you get a lot of packages at your house and you haven't been saving cardboard, I highly recommend saving cardboard because you can make really cool things. Yeah. In this case, you could use it as your the base for your sculpture. I don't know what we're going to call this one. Hers is called Empire. What would we call this one? Well, Empire is something really big. And this is yes. really tiny. Yes. This is a miniature empire. <laughs> Tiny town. Yes. Oh, I love that, Miss Kate. And so it's, yeah, I just Very thought happy. it was so much fun. I was, I really loved that piece in the, in the sculpture garden. And now, look at this. It's so interesting. And sometimes we get inspired by artists that we already know, but in this case, it was a new artist for me. And I felt super inspired to make this today. Thanks for visiting us. If you make one, would you please take a picture and send it to us? That would be really fun. Yeah. We're on Instagram, and you can check out our website, alamedaarts.com. And we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye, friends.